Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try to apply this to a geometric type of problem. We're dealing with a rectangle and we're told that the length of a rectangle is one meter more than three times the width. If the perimeter is 22 over three meters, I guess I should put an S there, find the dimensions of the rectangle. So let's draw a rectangle. So a rectangle will look something like this. We have the length and we have the width. So we're going to let L represent the length and W represent the width. Now we read and we see that the length of a rectangle is one meter more than three times the width. Hmm. So the length is equal to three times the width plus one. So the length is one more than three times the width. And that's how we write that. Then secondly, the perimeter is 22 over 3 meters. So the perimeter, that would be twice the length and twice the width. So 2L plus 2W, that's the full perimeter, is equal to 22 over 3. And there's the two equations that we need to solve simultaneously. We need to find the point of intersection, so to speak, of those two equations. So what method should we use? Well, the fact that we have our first equation already, one variable in terms of the other variable, we can simply use the method of substitution by plugging what L is equal to into our second equation, thus eliminating L. Yes, indeed, I do have a fraction there, so maybe first what I want to do is multiply both sides of the second equation by 3 to get rid of that fraction. So let's do that first. So we multiply this and this, the left side, and the right side by 3 to get rid of that fraction and then we'll substitute the first equation into the second equation. So again we have L is equal to 3 times the width plus 1, one more than 3 times the width and here we get 6L plus 6W is equal to 22 and now this L will be substituted in there so we get, we get 6 times L which is 3 times the width plus 1 plus 6 times the width is equal to 22 and now we have an equation with just one variable in it. Let's get rid of parentheses by applying the 6 to both terms inside the parentheses. So we have 18 times the width plus 6 plus 6 times the width is equal to 22. Move the plus 6 to the other side so we have 18 times the width plus 6 times the width is equal to 22 minus 6 and Adding those together, we get 24 times the width is equal to 16. Okay, let's come up here and let's rewrite that. We have 24 times the width is equal to 16. So now we divide both sides by 24. And we get the width is equal to 16 divided by 24, which is equal to 2 thirds. So the width is equal to 2 thirds of a meter. Okay, once we know the width, now we use the first equation to find the length. So we have the length is equal to 3 times the width, which is 2 thirds, plus 1. So, 3 times the width, oh, be careful here, we need to be careful, make sure we make the exact copy. So the length is 3 times the width, and the width is 2 thirds, so 3 times 2 thirds, plus 1. That's how we want to write it. We want to make sure that this is exactly the same as that. Now, why did I make that mistake or came close to making a mistake? Well, let me show you where laziness doesn't pay off. What I should have done is I should have recopied the exact equation. L equals 3W plus 1. And then I substitute that in here. And notice L is equal to 3 times 2 thirds plus 1 and now I have that exact copy I'm less likely to make that mistake than when I try to cross reference like this so now that I have that the threes cancel out L is equal to 2 plus 1 or L is equal to 3 meters and the width is equal to 2 thirds meters now to check let's do the perimeter we know that 2 times the length plus 2 times the width is equal to 22 over 3 Okay, 2 times the length, so 2 times 3 plus 2 times the width, which is 2 thirds, is equal to question mark 22 over 3. So here we get 6 plus 
4 over 3 is equal to question mark 22 over 3. So we need to put this over the same common denominator of 3. So I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 3. So multiply the numerator by 3 and multiply the denominator by 3. And of course, the denominator would be equal to 1. So here we have 18 over 3 plus 4 over 3. Is that equal to question mark 22 over 3? And sure enough, 22 over 3 is equal to 22 over 3. That's correct. So therefore, we know that the width is correct and the length is correct. And that is how we solve the problem. Anything make a mistake? I came close. But again, laziness was what almost got me into trouble right here by not copying the equation down first before I made a substitution. Lesson learned. Well, obviously, no. Because I keep making mistakes. <laughs> All right.